Hi, I'm Junior Kim from KAIST. In this talk, I will introduce LineFS, a distributed file system offloaded to a smart NIC using pipeline parallelism for efficiency. This work is done in collaboration with several institutes around the world. As storage devices and networks become faster on the strength of persistent memory and faster CRDs, distributed file systems, or DFSs, consume increasing CPU and memory resources. In cloud and HPC environments in particular, DFSs are likely to run with other CPU and memory intensive applications. This leads to interference between the DFS and core running applications. The problem becomes more severe as state-of-the-art DFSs like Assist and Orion adopt the client local persistent memory model that achieves better performance. Client local persistence requires further DFS services to run on the client. The graph shows the aggregated throughput and client CPU usage of Ceph and Assist. We run eight storage microbenchmarks on the same machine that perform sequential writes with four kilobyte write size. We see that both DFSs consume a lot, large amount of client CPU resources. Ceph uses more than two CPU cores to provide modest DFS throughput. Assis achieves higher throughput due to its client local PM. However, it consumes more than five cores, 2.4x more than Ceph, to support eight single-threaded application processes. The resulting resource interference lowers the performance of the DFS and core running applications at the same time. For example, we measure up to 72% slowdown of the CPU intensive stream cluster application when it runs alongside a storage intensive benchmark that uses SS. A solution is to offload the DFS to smart NICs to relieve the resource contention in the host machine. By running the DFS using the additional resources of the smart NIC, we can save host resources and eliminate the interference between the DFS and core running applications. However, there are two challenges in offloading the DFS to a smart NIC. The first challenge is the high access latency from the smart NIC to host persistent memory across PCIe. It takes 94 nanoseconds from the host CPU, but it takes 3 microseconds from smart NIC CPU. The second challenge is the WIMP architecture of the smart NIC. Cores in the smart NIC operate at 800 MHz, that is around three times slower than the host CPUs. Both challenges significantly slow down DFS performance when offloaded to a smart NIC. To overcome these challenges, we present LineFS. LineFS follows two design principles to achieve its goal. First, LineFS distinguishes latency critical from deferable tasks and offloads only deferable tasks to the smart NIC. We call this persist and publish. Persist and publish ensures that Latency critical persistence tasks finish on time while relieving the host from deferable tasks that are indifferent to the high latency interconnect. Second, with pipeline parallelism, LineFS aggressively parallelizes the offloaded tasks and achieves comparable or even better performance than the host DFS, even though the offloaded tasks are executed on WIMP smart NIC resources. In this talk, I'm going to explain two parallel offload pipelines, the publishing pipeline and the replication pipeline. To explain persist and publish, let me first introduce the three components of LineFS. First, libfs is a library file system that provides a per-process DFS interface to applications and executes latency-critical persistence operations. Second, nigfs executes on the smart NIC. It executes deferable DFS operations. Finally, a lightweight host kernel worker helps nigfs with host local data copy operations. Now to persist and publish. Persist is an operation that makes data durable to a prep in the gray area. DFS does it by writing data to PMM using the host CPU because it is a latency critical task. Publish is an operation that moves data from the private log area to a public area. It is performed by NICFS because this operation can be deferred. This approach is akin to that of host-based file systems optimized for persistent memory such as Strata and Assist but we extended it to smart NIC offload. Next, we are going to see how pipeline parallelism dramatically increased the throughput of the NICFS publishing process. The words in the orange rounded box indicate the steps of the publication operation. First, after libfs has written data to its private log, NICFS can fetch the data from the host. Next, NICFS must validate the fetched data as it comes from untrusted processes. If the data is valid, NICFS can publish it by requesting a data copy from the kernel worker. The kernel worker may offload the required main copy to a host local DMA engine to minimize host CPU usage. 
After the mem copy is completed, NICFS sends an echo to libfs. You can see how the publishing stages are executed sequentially without pipeline repetition, which takes a long time on the smart NIC. LineFS divides log data into small chunks and fetches them asynchronously as soon as they become available. This allows chunk processing to overlap in a processing pipeline, which makes publishing parallel. Pipeline parallelism dramatically improves the throughput of the publication operation. The second pipeline is the replication pipeline. LineFS leverages chain replication via RDME like in ASSIS. In DFS context, F-Sync guarantees the persistence of data on all replicas. When F-Sync is called by an application, DFS replicates data synchronously. The application has to wait for the replication to be completed. LineFS replicates data in the background in advance of F-Sync call. It replicates data in chunk size and the replication is pipeline. If large data writes precede an F-Sync call, the replication pipeline efficiently reduces F-Sync latency because most of the log data has already been persisted. The background replication does not require host resources because it is performed by NIGFS. Please refer to our paper for the other interesting design ideas. This is our experimental setup. We used NVIDIA Bluefield DPU for the SmartNIC and stream cluster of Parsec as a co-running CPU intensive job. First, we asked whether LineFS can provide adequate DFS performance even when offloading to a WIMP SmartNIC. We evaluate this question with a micro benchmark and two application benchmarks. Second, we asked how much interference to co-running applications might be alleviated by SmartNIC offload. We evaluate this question by evaluating the performance of a co-running stream cluster instance. Our throughput micro benchmark performs sequential writes. The file is three-way replicated. We compare four configurations. ASIS, ASIS with background replication enabled, LineFS without pipeline parallelization, and LineFS with full feature enabled. The figure shows throughput over different number of DFS clients. We evaluate two scenarios, when replicas are idle and when replicas are busy due to a co-running application stream cluster. The purple line at the top shows the maximum obtainable throughput with our network hardware. The first thing we see is that LineFS throughput is always better than ASIS even with background replication. When replica CPUs are idle, background replication improves throughput. ASIS with background replication and LineFS, which also replicates in the background, have a similar throughput. The throughput of LineFS is slightly better than ASIS with background replication because LineFS exploits pipeline parallelism. Without pipeline parallelism, LineFS's throughput drop by up to 60%, demonstrating that pipeline parallelism is a key to efficiency on the smart name. When replicas are busy, with one libfs process, throughput does not drop because host resource contention is low. However, as the number of libfs processes increases, the throughput drops because of host resource contention. LineFS's throughput is 33% higher than ASIS with and without background replication with eight processes due to smartening offload. LineFS's throughput also suffers from host resource contention versus the idle case because its kernel worker uses the host CPU. Next, we look at application benchmarks. We evaluate LevelDB and FileBench to compare LineFS with ASSIS when replicas are busy. For LevelDB write latency, LineFS shows up to 80% better latency than ASSIS. LineFS and ASSIS read latencies are similar as their read passes are the same. File server and file mail workloads are used in the FileBench run. LineFS achieves 79% better throughput with the file server workload. LineFS is able to fully exploit pipeline parallelism in this case because file server does not call F-Sync. However, LineFS shows 21% lower throughput than ASSIS with the Vermeil workload. There are three reasons. First, Vermeil does fewer writes than file server, which means there are fewer chances to leverage pipeline parallelism. Second, Vermeil calls F-Sync frequently after each small file creation and update which also prevents LineFS from leveraging pipeline parallelism. Lastly, file opens make up 9% of all DFS calls in the Vermeer workload. File open incurs expensive synchronous PCI overhead for LineFS to execute permission checks. Finally, we evaluate stream cluster execution time running two storage microbenchmarks simultaneously. Here, we run stream cluster on all the nodes including the primary. 
Bars in the figure represent stream cluster execution time, and the line indicates the throughput of our storage microbenchmark. As this increases stream cluster runtime by up to 72% for the soft solo run. 18% better throughput of assist with background replication makes its microbenchmarks terminate earlier, but it degrades stream cluster similarly because it uses more host resources. LineFS slows down stream cluster the least with the best storage throughput by making use of smart link resources for DFS operation. To conclude, the increasing resource usage of distributed file systems causes host resource contention. LineFS efficiently offloads DFS operations to smart NICs and achieves up to 80% lower latency than ASIS. You can find LineFS's source code via the link at the bottom of this slide. Thank you for listening to our talk.